My name is Megan. I'm a sophomore here at FNM. I run cross country, I'm a government major, and I'm thinking about becoming a lawyer. This is Gene. He's helping me make this film. There's a better shot of him later. I have to tell you, this is the first film I've made. I don't know too much about filmmaking. Actually, I don't know too much about art either. So why am I making this film, and why are you watching? Space and figure out how to set this is my film professor who assigned me this project. Because we're shooting somewhat into the light. When I told him I'd never made a film before, he said, that's okay. I've never taught an art class. Bill Hudson has never curated an exhibit. The college has never mounted a show like this. And nobody has any idea who is going to pay for it all. It's a learning experience. One of the coolest things about this exhibit, from my perspective, is that Professor Hudson has involved students in putting it together at every step. I'm glad you mentioned that. Professor Hudson himself is totally different than other professors at FNM. Professor Hudson is very eloquent in describing the artists and their inspiration behind the types of work that they choose. I'd say my favorite part is the hands-on interaction with the art. Being able to have this like tangible presence and be amongst the art itself was overwhelming and intense. As more work started coming in, we naturally just had to be here and um, getting more physical with the whole process. I was just like, hey, tell me where it needs to go and I'll try to put it there. The class I'm taking is about how to make a documentary based on this exhibit. The most exciting part of this class for me so far has been the chance to visit some of the artists in their studios. Here's a better shot of Jean editing some footage. When I first heard about the subject, I was a little concerned because it's a topic that most people aren't familiar with and they might not be necessarily interested in it either. So our challenge is for people to watch this show on TV when they're flipping through with their remote to stop and watch and want to watch. And that's going to be a real challenge. We've had some pretty intense arguments in class about how to go about holding the viewer's attention, especially in regards to the idea of a music montage. Well, the conflict arose in class when Professor Eisen uh, expressed his idea of uh, showing a minute and a half montage uh, with just artwork. Professor Eisen calls it MTV for eggheads, but uh, some of us just call it a bad idea. I personally like the idea of the jazz montage sequences. Uh, since I've been involved in music for most of my life, it was, it was an interesting idea, I thought. When I listened to the tapes, a lot of the artists mentioned jazz. I think one of the most interesting things about editing, um, specifically a piece about abstract art, is sort of the way that editing becomes, in some way, a piece of abstract art. I volunteered to help Professor Eitzen write the treatment for his documentary. One question he kept on asking was, why bother? Why bother to make this documentary? Why did the artist bother to make this art? Why should students bother to go see it? As I've been looking at this art and reading about it, and talking to the artist, the same answer seems to come up again and again. Because it's all part of a learning experience, an eye-opening experience. So thank you to all of the artists who are creating this wonderful work. And thank you to Bill Hudson for bringing it all together. Thank you.